couple of years back, they unearthed what has been called the Gospel of Judah. Mm. And what was revealed in that, in that scriptures is completely different from what the Bible described. And we would like to know where is the truth in all that. Well, your question is about a couple of years uh, ago, uh, the unearthed uh, documents that uh, was uh, uh, discovered to be the scriptures according the to the yeah. Gospel of Judas. Now, that shouldn't come as a, uh, as a surprise because, you know, uh, during the time of Jesus, there were so many people that have lived with him, 12 disciples, plus Mary Magdalene, and there were so many people who were around him. So, why not? There could be, have been many people who have uh, recorded his teachings and his life. And where are all these? Do you think that only four people, four disciples only, have uh, recorded his, his Gospels? I don't believe this. Now, whether what they unearth, the job that they unearth uh, contains uh, the true document, about uh, the gospel of Judas or not, but my understanding and my experience is that, and I can tell you with absolute guarantee, that uh, there are other, there were other disciples who had recorded the life and teaching of Jesus Christ. Now you tell me that it doesn't that what Jesus, uh, what uh, Judas, uh, the teachings uh, that Jesus, uh, that sorry that Judas received with Jesus doesn't correspond to what is written in the Bible. No wonder. Because between us and Jesus Christ, there is more than 2,000 years. So, in that lapse of time, so many things have changed. The Bible has been translated, retranslated, you know, and so many versions of the Bible has been presented to us. Now, remember I told you uh, when I wrote my first book, Hidden Teaching of the Bible, I browsed through many versions of the Bible. I didn't see that uh, statement, the kingdom of heaven is, heaven is within. Then one day one disciple came with one version and, and presented it to me. And in that version, I don't remember which version it is. There I found and I was so happy to read that the kingdom of heaven is within as said by Jesus Christ. So you see, the scriptures old and are distorted, manipulated, mistranslated, misunderstood, understood, understood, you know, and there are also people with vested interests who distort everything. So uh, for me, it doesn't come as a surprise. We have uh, even the version of the of Jesus Christ, life and teaching, according to Saint Thomas, you know. If you read uh, the books of Ellen Pager and Marvin Mayer, you will see that uh, there uh, the authors uh, reveal some of the teachings of Jesus Christ. So for me, I have uh, no doubt that uh, it is greatly probable that uh, the manuscript that they discovered was that of one of his disciples. I'm concerned Judas was not a betrayer. He was not a traitor. However, he did a mistake. He disobeyed the master. You know, he did something behind the back of the master. You know, he was a disciple. He wanted that the master be given the opportunity you know, to show his divinity because for him the master had great powers. He could, you know, if you wish, uh, demonstrate his power, then they, they wouldn't be able to, to crucify him. So he thought here was an opportunity if, I, uh, if they arrest the master, this Jesus Christ, bring him in front of the high priest and the authorities at that time, the Sahendrin or whatever it was, then probably Jesus would show his divinity and whole world we know they wouldn't be able to arrest him so he would uh, you know he would be known and that is what he wanted he wanted the master to be known 
He wanted people to know about his teaching. But he chose the wrong way because the master already had a plan. And as I used to tell you, disciples and the master have to look in the same direction. He had already said that the Son of Man would be arrested, you know, he would be crucified and after three days he will uh, be resurrected. So, uh, Judas, you know, was, I won't say unfortunately, he was chosen as the instrument. But from one angle, we say that he didn't obey the master. He did it his own way. But from another angle, let, let's think about this. You know, uh, when they were at the table, he said, one among you is going to betray me. Now what he did, he took a morsel of bread, he dipped it in the sauce, he looked at the disciple in his eyes. Now think about it. He dipped the morsel of bread, he looked at the disciple in his eyes, and he gave it to him. And he said, whatever you have to do, do it soon. And there it is written, after Judas took the morsel and ate it, Satan entered into him. Now, come on. The Lord has given something to eat to the disciple. And that morsel, that piece of bread, was definitely filled with the vibration. How then comes Satan descended into onto him. My understanding is that the Lord, the Master, chose Jesus, uh, choose, sorry, chose Judas for that particular purpose because he wanted to go to the cross. So how would that happen? He needed an instrument. So then why blame that poor guy? I love him, Jesus, uh, Judas. Jesus Christ has already forgiven him. So, see?